Uh, women, peace and security is, is quite important. Uh, the, from my perspective, the world population uh, consists half of the population are women and girls, and they have not been included in their own security. Um, whilst they have a lot of capacity to offer, a different perspective to offer. And so WPS is seeking to ensure that these considerations are taken into uh, uh, effect when we are looking at world peace and security um, issues, in, not only in armed forces, but uh, it is applicable to other aspects of life. I, I think globally, uh, participation of women in peace and security has moved at a slow pace. But WPS agenda has put some focus on that and there is some momentum in the right direction. And many countries are seeing the benefits and so are coming on board. And activities such as this symposium helps to send that message and increase the meaningful participation of women in peace and security. These events are, are, are very valuable. Uh, it enables persons who uh, are not seized with the importance that diversity brings in security issues uh, to the table and, and, and calls for uh, the message to go out at all levels, the leadership level, the operational level, the tactical level. So it, it, is, it is a process that should be continuous um, across organizations to send the message widely um, and to continue the progress in the right direction. I think it's, it's, it's important to, to make the point directly that WPS is not about gender equity, but it is about having a seat at the table in security matters um, uh, as a, a half of the population of the world. Women are affected differently by security environments and, and situations. And so having them in the decision-making process at the table is more important um, more importantly, what WPS is about, rather than equality and, uh, and equity, as you mentioned, it, there's a distinct distinction, and we have to continue to to you know emphasize and highlight what that is.